if you own a battery powered smart door lock you'll know how frustrating it is when it runs out of battery because it does a lot of beeping and then it doesn't let you in your own house which makes it worse than a not smart door lock if it won't let me in ah! but yeah you'll say not to worry about that because if it does run out of battery you just have to connect a 9 volt battery to the bottom of the lock and that'll power the lock so you can use your key card and let yourself in but I don't know where I'm going to find one of those out here and I certainly don't carry one around with me so I'm going to make a UPS to power my door lock so UPS is an uninterruptible power supply, so it can run off the mains and it can run off battery if there's a power cut or something. I found out online that Yale say you can't use my door lock with rechargeable AA batteries, which means I need to use 6 volts to power it because uh, rechargeable batteries run at a lower voltage. So I'm going to use this 12 volt lead acid battery that I have lying around. I'm going to use this battery charger and this voltage regulator to get the 12 volts down to the battery charging level or something. So I 3D printed a box to put everything and while that was printing I built a circuit to send 6 volts out to the door lock and charge the new battery. I peeled off the box from the printer, stuck some nice captive nuts in there. Oh yeah, I like that. I mounted the circuit in the box with some cable tensioning, screwed the lid on the box, tested the output voltage and gave an excited thumbs up and then gave a massive thumbs up. I unscrewed the door lock from the door, removed the circuit board and then stared at it for a little while wondering what I should do next, then removed the battery housing. So I've tracked down where the batteries, which live in here, where they actually connect to the circuit board itself. And that is just there. There's a little terminal there that's got a load of sort of hot melt glue splurged on it. So I need to get that glue off and then solder a, two connections from my UPS to these connections here. And then the UPS could be powering this instead of the standard battery pack. Then I'll remove the glue, solder it in a couple of wires, splurge some glue on it, cut a slot in the battery housing for the wire to fit in and put it all back together. Okay, it's all plugged in now with a wire going all the way down to my UPS, plugging into the connections that these normal batteries would usually go into. So let's give it a quick test before I reassemble everything. Hooray, it works. Now I'll reassemble it and make it look like it was never there. And here I go tightening up all the screws now that I know it works. Oh yeah, look at how well my slot fits over that wire. Okay, it's all finished and it's really discreet. It looks almost the same as when I started, apart from this little cable sticking out, which goes all the way down here, down the door, like that, over to the UPS unit with a battery in it and a charger in the wall, like that. So now I won't have to worry about the batteries running out and because it's attached to a battery still, I won't be affected if there's a power cut. Pretty happy. You'll find a link in the comments of this video to my instructables where I explain step by step how to build this.